Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush. Today I am hoping to get the new stuff over in here. We got the new bits, they're up there. We got the new trommel, we got the new D-rocker thingy. I don't know what it's called actually. I got no idea, shaker thingy. Um, it, it, to, the, the soil removing thingamabobby. You know the one that I mean. We're going to be putting that one in there and we're going to be putting the new trommel down in there and then we're going to be doing a little bit of digging. We have a new DLC coming out to the game soon. I'm not quite sure when. It's towards the end of March. And that is the one where you can put all of your mats into the machine. You don't have to rinse them off in buckets or anything like that. You just dump them all into the machine and then the machine cleans them all. Uh, we're also getting the ability to rotate items. Now, this is going to be something very special. I am particularly looking forward to that. I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it, but uh, basically you'll be able to rotate, move them around however you wish, which means that when you're busy putting items, picking them up, you know, we can pick up a bucket over here. I could put it upside down. I could carefully place the bucket upside down. I could put it down. And then I'm hoping that instead of dropping it, I will be able to just place it. So we can put it upside down on there, and then we could like we could build like a little stack of buckets upside down on top of each other, all the way up, and have a little tower. And then we can come over here, and we can pick up things like this, and we can try uh, throwing. Oh, hang on, no, 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 no. If, I, if I'm going to throw, I need to throw like that. No, no, I, I'm pressing the mouse button. I'm, I'm confused with the games. There we go. Okay, that doesn't throw. Um. We can, can we try jumping and throwing? There. Nailed it. So we can sort of do stuff like that. You know, you know exactly what I mean. We're going to, you know, so that we can throw them at the buckets and we can knock stuff over. It's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely awesome. We could have like a whole fun fair going on around here. So like, um, you know, you know the coconut shies that you have at the fun fair? We could do things like that. It could be brilliant. On the other hand, you know, we could just actually do some work, which again would be a bit of a novel idea. Uh, yeah, a bit, bit of a novel idea, but uh, we'd still be able to do it. Is that... Okay, it, it does this. When you first go to um, change the view on the machine, when you first load the game up, it does something strange. But look down there. It looks like... Oh, no, that's the radio. We've ripped the radio out. Our radio was in here, but somebody ripped it out. Either we got broken into and somebody stole it, or um, we, we just kind of got rid of it. So uh, I'm, I'm looking for the buttons to start this one up. There we go. Okay, sorted. And oh, I do have fuel. I've got plenty of fuel. I'm just going to drag these over quickly. I was thinking about getting the excavator up here and, you know, doing it sensibly and carefully. And then I decided, you know what, I don't actually want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to do it like this. I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not going to say that um, there's any particular reason for it other than just me being incredibly lazy and I just can't be bothered to um, drive the excavator all the way up over here because it's a very long way to drive the excavator. So, um... You are, you are, of course, welcome to go and do that in your own games. But um, for me, right now, I, I, I just can't be bothered. I, I just can't be bothered to do it. Uh, so let me just put that one up on there, and I'll drop the rope. And then if I can grab... Let, let, let me grab. Let me grab. There we go. Okay, we grab that one there, and put it onto that end, and we'll drop it onto there. And then I'll take you... And put you onto this end. I think we're going to need a longer rope in order to be able to pick it up. Because that's, that's quite a long machine. And in order for our wonderful, wonderful excavator down there to be able to pick it up, I think we're going to need a longer rope to be able to do this. How is this going to work, though? I'm curious. Can, can we do this? Can, can we easily just slide this thing along? Actually, I think we can. I think this is going to work quite nicely. Brilliant. It's like it's on skis. Um, I'm fairly certain before we get all the way down there, though, we are going to break one of, one or both of these ropes. Definitely going to break before we get down there. We want to head down the hill. We'll head this way. We're going roughly a straight line here. It's, it's sort of, it's sort of catching and, and not really do <laughs> It's a shame we can't put the rope at the bottom. It would go a lot easier. Um... Well, we seem to have slowed down quite a bit. I probably would have been quicker getting the excavator up here and carrying it down. I was actually thinking about doing it the wheel loader. We, we could sort of put the bucket on. Oh, no, no, it's moving. It's moving. We're making some progress now. This is, uh, I tell you what, if I was to put the diff lock on, that might speed things up a little bit. We don't have four wheel drive. I'm assuming that four wheel drive is just automatically on at all times, which is why that's not making any difference. So we can come over here. Um... Doing a lot of sliding around, it's still... Oh, here we go. Now I'm not... It's not lifting my wheels up off the ground and I'm not trying to pull it down. So upside down seems to be the way to go. 
We're going to have to do this carefully because I need to get round that um, generator there. And then I need to come round this side. And I don't want to knock the generator too much. And I, I know that we are just sliding over a, um, a, a water pipe at the moment. Oh, stop, 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 stop. I, I, it really bugs me that those do that. Look, this. I thought they fixed that. There, there was a bug. I thought they fixed it, but obviously they have. There, there is still a bit of a bug. You got to start the engine up, and then stop the engine, and it switches it all off. Now I know that. Hang on. Okay, that's fine. I know that there was a patch that did fix that, so it might just be because I bought that one before the patch. Maybe that's what's doing it. Maybe that's why I've still got issues with it. Um, on the other hand, it might just be me. Um, it might just be my my one game here. Um, there are a lot of games and there are a lot of computer systems and a lot of different setups So if they get it for most of them, they can't necessarily get it for all of them So I will give them a little bit of credit for that. Just come on around here um, and Scramble no no don't oh, Seriously That was not part of the master plan. I'm not I'm not doing very well today. We're supposed to be, it's supposed to be flowing easily and, and simply. I thought to myself before I started this episode, you know what, I, I, I just want things to go well. We'll get this put together and then we'll do a little bit of digging. That should be, that should be a reasonable episode. I think we, we sort of, we cover a few different aspects of gameplay and so on. Um, and, you know, last time I just did the, uh, I did digging and I did cleaning. So I don't really want to just do that. I want to have have a bit of variety so move on from next week so i had it all planned out in my head about what was going to happen and so far i've spent most of my time stuck with the wheel spinning um so yeah they definitely got room for improvement now this is it oh hang on no that's a short rope that's a shorter one i think yes that is that is a shorter one therefore those two over there might just might be enough to do this i wonder can we do it so that i take both of them from this end if I put one there, and I bring the other end of the rope up there, and then I go and get the other one, and we get that one, and we put it onto this side over here, like this, and then I bring it back over here. So we got plenty of room there, that there's plenty of length on that. If I just pick it up like that and bring it over, how is that going to affect it? What's it going to do? Because it's obviously it's got to drop down there. I'm not quite sure which way around it's got to be, though. That's always a difficult bit. Now, this one, we're going to be out of cab to do our driving here. Uh, you know, it would help if I started up. So let's start up and then we will switch over. Right. Um, no, I'm just going to do it like that. Let's, there we go. Up in, up, in, up in the sky. And that one. Just like you would in real life. You lift it up as high as you possibly can to make the machine as unsteady as possible. And then drive around on the hills. Just, just like real life. Yeah, any, anybody that does this in real life will tell you this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. Um, it would be better if we went sideways on the hill as well, just to add to the instability of the machine, just just for fun, just just for fun and giggles. You you, you know exactly what I mean. Um, just bring this over here. Okay. Uh, I will just like to add a disclaimer at this point. Please do not try this at home. Please do not take anything I say seriously. And if you do take anything I say seriously, and you actually do want to, uh, what what am I doing? Um. Yeah, if you do take anything I say seriously, and you do actually get hold of a real-life excavator, and you, you do something as phenomenally stupid as going along a hill with your boom right up in the air, um, I accept no responsibilities because that would be phenomenally stupid. Um, not only stupid for listening to me, uh, but also stupid for actually doing it. Uh, so there you go. There, there is my disclaimer. Um, I'm telling you to do it, but I'm also saying that if you do do it, if you do listen to me and you do what I tell you to do, um, then, then you're not too bright. Let um, me just pick that one up like that. Now, how high can we go? We can pick it up. It does pick up. It's just a bit slow going. Okay. That looks pretty good. It's what? Oh, it's stuck on a... Um, is it on a collision? I don't know. I, I think it's on like a, um, a game collision. It's co a collision on the edge of the map or something. Possibly. Now, which way round does this thing go? This this is a bit that I'm not quite sure about. We may have it in, in the right way right here. If I can just bring that one up a bit. Get to that point. I might have this one right already. I, I think we may be able to do this without having to unhitch it anymore. And take any more bits off. Look at that. 
I really wish I could bring the camera out a little bit more. Any developers, if, if, you're, if you're watching my lowly channel right now, um, could, could you please make it so that we could zoom the camera out just a little bit further? That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. Yours sincerely, Frithgar. Um, now what? I wonder if, if, I bring, if I can bring that one in, I'm hoping... Yes! <laughs> Nailed it! Ideal. Okay, I really didn't think I would be able to do it that easily. Um, every other time we've had a piece of machinery here in the recent past, we've had to... Uh, I, yeah, I can leave that running. Yeah, every other time we've had to put it down and we've had to carefully turn it around so it's facing the right direction. This is absolutely fantastic. This is brilliant. And the, the wire, the, the, um, yeah, the, the coil is in the right place. We'll put that one over there. The, the plug, the wire, the coil. Um, and I, I knew what I meant. Okay, let's put that one on there. And we'll bring the other end over here and we'll put it onto there. Perfect. Look at that. So we've got our new trommel all in place. I just don't understand how this is so much better than the other one. They're both the same. They're both just a big drum with a mesh inside them. So how is this an improvement on the last one? I mean, I can understand those there with like the different designs and everything. That does kind of make sense. But this design is the same as the other one. So how is it? An imp that's, that's the one thing I don't get is an improvement. Um, does it go faster? Is it, um, does it have like an alternating speed? Because I suppose... If you had an alternating speed on it, if you had, um, if it was like speeding up and slowing down on a regular basis, would would that make a difference to it? Would that sort of sieve it through a bit more, or does it vibrate a bit while it ro rotates? Which um, I suppose, it, yeah, if it vibrated, that could actually do it. That could um, make it slightly better. You know, I have absolutely no idea. If anybody does understand the complexities of this machine and why this one is better than the other one, please explain to me because I'm I'm a little bit confused right now and um, I have absolutely no idea. Why, why aren't you going backwards? Go backwards. There we go. All the way around. And now go forwards. Go forwards. Go forwards. Okay. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to get the other one. I don't actually remember what this one is called. It's not a D-Rocker. It's not a Duplex. No, Duplex Jig was the other bit. The, the, the Duplex Jig was a bit down the bottom. We got, we had a, it was a Shaker. Um, Glacier Creek. That's what this one's called. I remember now. This is just called a Glacier Creek. I'm not quite sure why it's, it's just called that, but it is. That's the, I'm, I'm guessing it's where it was made or something. Uh, the, the, it's got to have something to do with it. Um, I want to just go forward, just inch forward a little bit. I'm sliding an awful lot. There's a lot of drift going on there. Now, let's bring this one up through here. Um, it's a new film that I'm actually thinking of making, um, starring Frithgar, the ultimate action hero, and this, this film is called Alaska Drift. It's kind of like Tokyo Drift, but better. It's, um, it's, it's got more it's, it, more wheels, well, bigger, bigger wheels, and it's also got caterpillar tracks. Because Tokyo Drift didn't have caterpillar tracks. You know, it was a good film and all, but it didn't have caterpillar tracks. And I always felt that it was a little bit let down by that. You know, if you... My film, Alaska Drift, that is going to have um, excavators drifting around corners. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, I've, I've got several studios lined up itching to get hold of the script and everything. Um, all I need to do now is, you know, write the script and get Vin Diesel on board and um, we're away. So if anybody knows Vin Diesel, just... Uh, have a little chat with him. Tell him that he, he really needs to get going with this. And if anybody knows any writers, tell them to get in touch with me as well because they can come and write the script because I'm not much of a writer. Um. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're going anywhere with this one. This is... <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. This is not how I envisaged this happening. I really did not picture... <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. What is going on here? Is, is it gonna... I wonder if we can make it without breaking the rope. This, this is... this. <laughs> the ultimate question is, can we do this with it? I don't think that's quite how it's supposed to work. Um... Oh, there goes one of them. There's one rope gone. Go on, go break. Uh, yeah, it's lying on the ground over there. We'll go and get it in a minute. And there goes the other one. Right. And that's it. Game over. Right. Uh, let's, let's just go, let's go move this one over here out of the way a minute. We'll park that one up. I don't think it's got what it takes to pull that uh, great, great big machine all the way down. So what do we got up here? We've got one rope down here. Fortunately, oh, I see. You've got the bits on the ground, but you get to keep the ropes. 
there is that. It, it, it is really fortunate and forgiving and then it lets you keep the ropes. Now then, uh, I think we had it on there and then it was over the top or something. I'm going to put it on this end this time. Drop that one down there and then I got another rope over here. There's another one that broke. Look, you can see the broken um, the bits there. And we take that one and we'll put it down there. Now then, does that bulldozer over there have any um, things that we can hook onto? It does indeed have things we can hook onto. It's got those two bits right there. And I haven't actually used the bulldozer to do any towing yet. So we're going to use the bulldozer for this one. If I jump into here and start it up, let's just come out of cab. Well, I think those two bits are, um, are, are going to work. I, I don't actually know, though. So let me take the handbrake off and... Now, oh, there we go. The blade's up as high as it can go. Uh, we'll go running all the way over here. We'll go racing up through here. Rip-roaring speeds. This is this is also going to be featured in Alaska Drift. Um, I'm not quite sure what the, the, the main, you know, because they, they've, they've already stolen my idea of um, fast and furious. So I can't really have that. So I suppose we could have slow and steady Alaska Drift. I think that could work quite well, although that kind of... Um, it, you know, if somebody comes up to me and says slow and steady Alaska drift, that kind of makes me think of glaciers. Um, so may maybe we need to come up with a new uh, suggestions in the comment section. What are we going to call our epic film? Um, we, we can't have slow and steady Alaska drift because that makes it sound like we're um, starring glaciers. Um, and we can't have fast and furious because somebody's already stolen that idea. And no, we can't. We cannot hook on. Oh, I feel betrayed. I feel broken, let down and betrayed. But everybody that ever was involved with making this game. I'm disappointed. Devs, you hear this? I'm telling you right now. Um, I realize that you, it may upset you, but I'm, I'm telling you that um, I'm disappointed. I want to be able to tow something with this one. If you could just turn those hooks into actual active hooks, I would really appreciate it. It would be absolutely awesome. Um, so let me just park this one up over here and, you know, help if I stop the engine. There we go. And handbrake. And we will go and we will get this bad boy down here and we'll see if those hooks on the bottom are usable hooks. We will find out in just a moment. So this one down here, which I've come to appreciate, can be used. Um, I'm, I'm still not going to admit that I like it because that would mean admitting that I'm, I was really, 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 really wrong. And um, I'm not ready to do that yet. You know, I'm, 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 look, look, that, see? There's the bit that I don't like. Look, but it doesn't really matter. So long, as long as it's sort of facing roughly in the right direction, it should be all right. So we'll bring that one up here. You know, I got a feeling that we're going to be bringing the... Um, oh, okay. Let's uh, put the diff lock on. There we go. Stop there. Uh, I got a feeling we're going to be bringing the excavator up here anyway. I really do. Let's put that one... Ah, this one can take it. Okay, we'll put that on the front of the bucket like that. And then we come over this side and we'll grab you there. And we'll put you on the front on that side. Beautiful. Look at this. And this is where it flops back over <laughs> right way up. Guarantee this is going to flop back over. Okay. We will take the handbrake off. We will inch backwards. Slowly but steadily. There it goes. Right the way over. And... Oh, there goes one rope. I didn't think it was going to last very long. Not, not the way that I've been treating it. And there goes the other rope. Right. Um, it very nearly landed the right way up, though. We're making some progress. I reckon if we stop here, we'll have... We, let's go and get some of those ropes that we lost. They've got to be here somewhere. And then we can drag it back the right way up. Really, we should have just gotten the excavator. If we'd gotten the excavator, we wouldn't be having any of these problems at all. We could have just, you know, picked it up, carried it slowly and sedately all the way down. But quite frankly, where's the fun in that? We've done that before. We've covered those bases. We have, I've got lots of videos now. I've, you know, this is episode, what, 67, is it? Something like that. So, 67 different videos, and um, some of those videos are entirely dedicated to me sensibly and carefully carrying things around using the excavator. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we're allowed to have a bit of variety. This is my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I can't crouch down. How can I get to it? I've got... I can just see the hook. Uh, actually, can I? Yeah, there, there was a hook over this side. I'm sure. Where is it? Um, hmm. Right, plan B. We'll put that one down for a minute. There's another rope up here somewhere. Where did the other one go? Because we went quite a way before the second rope broke. Uh, well, there's some of the hooks. There's some more hooks. I got hooks. I got hooks scattered all over the countryside here. There's hundreds of them. Uh, hmm. I thought that it was here somewhere. 
We had one down there. Where is it? Oh, we've lost it. And unless it's dropped below the surface, it, it could well have done. It does do that sometimes. Um, but there's there's nothing up there. There's nothing... Oh, what's this? Um, that's just a random stone. And over here, if, if, is it sort of accumulated somewhere near the edge? No, no accumulations. Right, well, hang on. If we had the two ropes... Yeah, but it, it kind of rolled a bit, didn't it? It did roll a little bit on down the hill um, as, as we were sort of going along. Uh, hmm. I have no idea where the other one has gone. We may, we may have to go and find a second, re a second rope from somewhere else. So let's just bring this one around this way. Oh, what's that? Is that it down? That, oh, no, that's the one I just put there. Um, yeah, I, I remember now. I went and picked it up, and then I placed it down over there. I'm like this at home. I really am. Um, it drives Senlea absolutely wild because um, th this is kind of what I'm like at home. I put stuff down, and then I can't find it, and then um, I want to know who's taken it, and in actual fact, it's just where I put it. Um, I'm, I'm probably not the only person in the world that does things like that. Uh, uh, no. Yes, there is. it is. It was underneath. Um, it wasn't supposed to do that, though. Let's, let's, I'll tell you what. Maybe we can do this a slightly different way than normal. Maybe we can speed things up a little bit. If I can hook that in under there. It's going to pick up. No, it clips through. I'm disappointed. I was hoping it wouldn't. All right, let's try shoving it all the way down there. We're, we're, we're not going to use ropes. We're going to speed this up even more. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All the way down there. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, yes, of course. So long as you've got uh, wires uh, connected up to these things... They don't actually move. I mean, that one's going to move around a bit because, um, yeah, it, it's it's just going to. But um, so long as you've got wires hooked up to stuff, they don't move. They, they become solid and immovable objects. So if I stop you right there. Uh, no, I need to. That one for turning off. That one for handbrake. Okay. Let's put, uh, you know what? Let's just leave it there. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to fight with it. We'll take the wheel, go over here, and we'll get these two ropes. So that one was sat very carefully underneath the um, Glacier Creek. That's what it's called. Sieve. We'll just call it a sieve, okay? Because that's what it is. It's just a big sieve. Uh, how can I... Can I climb up on it? Oh, that's how That's how we're going to do it. I'm gonna, uh, just going to drop that in there a minute. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to get the other ones so that we can get the ropes hooked on to the hooks. And then we can get the excavator. The excavator is what we're going to have to use to get it into the final position. Because unless you've got a rope on it, I don't think it actually does anything anyway. Um, so if we bring this over here. Can I climb up on here? Oh, no. Okay, th this is going to be difficult. Parkour is not my strong point. <laughs> um, I've lost my rope. <laughs> and I'm... I'm... I'm stuck! I'm stuck inside it! Oh, uh, I've still got my rope. Um, that's not good either. I don't want to still have my rope. It's, I'm going to uh, drop that one up there. <laughs> I'm completely stuck. Okay, this it's really not going according to plan, is it? Uh, player, I, I need to go up here. Now, where there he is. There's the player. Right, restore. Come out of there. Okay, let's try this again. I need to parkour up on top of it. But I've also got to be very conscious of the fact that if I parkour a little bit too far and fast, it's going to dump me straight over the other side. Uh, I'll leave that rope down. No, actually, I'm going to take that rope with me because uh, we, we'll be glad of it. So I want to come up onto there and then up and... Don't go any further. Oh, nailed it. Right, um, drop that. Yeah, I can chuck that down over there. Now, what happened to the other rope? I threw it up here somewhere. Um, apparently, I didn't throw it up here good enough. There's no bits there. Come over this side. And... Why am I moving? I'm drifting. This, there it is. Here it is. Glacier Creek. Alaskan Drift. Um, I think we've got it. I think we have nailed the title of our new film. Glacier Creek, Alaskan, Gli uh, Alaskan Glyph. Um, drift. Drift. Drift is the word we're looking for. There's my rope. Is all the way in there. I don't know if I can get it, though. Uh, no. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to do this with one rope. So we come back over to here. We get our excavator. Let me just zoom out a bit. Uh, I can bring that one round. Now I need to go on to drive. And I want to spin round. So he's in the right position up there. And then we've got to pick it up. And I think it's actually the wrong way round. 
I got a feeling that it is currently back to front, which is a little bit of a nuisance. We're going to have to sort of flip it around facing the other way. But anyway, we'll do it. We will be able to do this. We can overcome any adversary and adversity. Because um, adversary would be, you know, a, a creature or a person. Whereas adversity would be, you know, what we're facing right here. Um, yeah. So, English language. It's a wonderful thing if you can speak it properly. Just bring that one all the way up there and... Oops. <laughs> Elegant as always, ladies and gentlemen. Elegant as always. What am I doing? Oh, dear. Um... That, uh, that, that wasn't quite how I planned this move. Um, if I tilt that one out like that, is that going to do it? No. Now it's facing the wrong way. Right. We need to swing it over there. And then I'll, I'll lift it up a bit. Like that. And then come back. Oh, no, I should have, I should have done it the other way. We're, we're going to have to sort of swing this one. <laughs> going to have to swing it into place. So, <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is not how I pictured this going today. I was supposed to be a little bit more sensible than this. We were supposed to take things seriously. You know, this, this is serious business. We're supposed to be making lots of gold and digging up gold and, and, and doing things sensibly and carefully. And what... Is going on with that thing? Um, if I lower that down, I t I, can, can I rotate that in? Um, apparently, I can't do it like that. <laughs> oh, it's it's very good at going the wrong way. Let me swing it out there again, and then we'll we'll come back. Over we go. This rope is very strong today. It's because I've broken it twice already. It's healed up, and the scar tissue is far stronger than the actual original rope. Um, yeah, I didn't realise that ropes could heal either um, up until today. Uh, how can I do this? If I lower that one down, I'll tell you what, let's lower that one down like that. And then we'll, we'll sort of, we'll curl the bucket over and we'll bring it down a bit more. We'll put it in that position and then there should be another rope. Uh, there it is. There it is. Right, we grab that one and we come over here. Now, where is the other joining point? That's the difficult bit. That one is... It's in there. I can see it. I can see it. I may even be able... I nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. Phase one complete. Now, I've just got to get up onto there. That's the difficult bit. Use. Yes! I did it. Okay. Now, we're making progress. We've got two of them on there now. So, now that we've got both of them together, we should be able to lower it into, into position. So, we can finally do this the sensible way that we were always destined to do. Um, we want to just raise that one up, just carefully, 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 just slowly, slowly. Um, okay, that's not quite how I wanted this to go. If I can do it like that, can I get it to turn over? I need it to, I, I need, I need, I need you to, no, you, you, you're not, you, you, you're not cooperating. Let me swing it out over there. <laughs> no, it's gone too far. Stop it. Stop. Look, this is supposed to be a sensible job, not nonsense. Lower that down a bit. Uh, go down a little bit more. And if I can... Nope, it's not working. Uh, down, like that. And then bring it round. And more. Right, it's it's sort of in position now. Right, stop there. If I bring that one back a little bit like that. Now we want to go to the next phase. Uh, I need to I need to just lift it up so that it goes upright. In order to do that, we're gonna go with this one up here. We're gonna get hold of that one and we're gonna put it in underneath. I could always, you know, just get another rope and I could do it like that, but you know, we we're committed now. We, you know what it's like. Well once you're committed to something, you've got to You've got to see it through. So we, we we have committed. We now need to see this through. So let me start this bad boy up again. And head on down here. I'm going to go slow-ish coming down here. I don't, I don't want to go too fast. Uh, oh, I put the handbrake on. That's why it stopped. 
And I intend to keep doing that. We want to use the handbrake for this. Now, I've put that one in underneath. And we lift. Uh, all right, let's, let's uh, put the handbrake off and then lift it again. And lift. <gasps> Nailed it! Ideal, look at that, we done it at last. Okay, let me just move this one up out the way with the whole dancing bucket majiggy thingy going on. Um, there we go. And stop you. No, I didn't want to do that one to stop you. There we go. Uh, come out, come out, come out. And we have Glacier Creek very carefully and very sensibly put into position. Because obviously if we hadn't done it sensibly and carefully, we would have utterly obliterated it. And it's a very expensive machine. So we wouldn't ever do anything that could be construed as ridiculous and not sensible. Um, are those ropes still fastened? No, they're not. No, they're not. That's good. That's good. Let's bring them over there. Lower it down. And you, you know what? I'm going to just stop this one a minute. Actually, I need to move this one completely out of the way. So we'll, we'll stop it in a second. I want to take those ropes off. I'll bring these over here. Drop one. And next one. Come here. There we go. I'm going to bring that one up there. Right. Okay. We have done the first bit. We've got that all sort of um, in, well, it's all in position. I just need to get it wired up now. So we're going to get that one there and I'll coil this, this one up a little bit like that. And we can bring it over here and put you onto there. There we go. And that trailer, yeah, we're going to do something with that fairly soon. Although where it is right now is actually quite convenient for reloading that one. So I'm not going to complain too loudly about that. Now, where is the input for this? I think it's there. Yes. Okay, I like that. I like that. That is very good. We put that one on there. It goes right on the side. That is really well done. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with that. Okay, now we can go up here and we can turn these things on, making use of the lights. Look at this, look at this. Uh, so we want a uh, power splitter. We want the reinforced trommel. We want Glacier Creek. Start all this reinforced trommel and Glacier Creek. It's all good. I'm guessing it's just... It doesn't actually give you more stuff. It's just less likely to fall into little tiny pieces, which is a good thing. You don't really want it falling apart, do you? Uh, you, right over here, we've got to start you up. You running? I don't think you are. Now you're running. Right. So, we got water coming out down here. It has... Oh, I see. That's how it works. So that one goes up to the top and that takes out the bigger rocks and then you've got more stuff that comes down the bottom and it washes itself all the way through. And then it goes through our old reinforced trommel over there and comes out down the bottom, washing all the gold through down here. I've got buckets on there. I've got all the mats in. I've got all the mats in up there. We're good to go, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are good to go. So we want to get the conveyor belts in place. We're not going to have time to do anything other than getting the conveyor belts in place today. I don't think we're going to have time to actually do... We could put a, we could put a spoonful in, I suppose. Uh, let me jump in here and get this one out of the way. It's going to be our first task. I can just lift that one up. I don't actually have to move it very far. We can just shunt it off over to the side and pick that off. Come back onto the driving. And then I will head over in that direction. I'll get one of those Frankensteins. Actually, I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna do that. First of all, we're not going to worry about a Frankenstein. I'm gonna get the wheel loader, and I'm going to attempt to bring one bucket full with the wheel loader from our dig site all the way up and in position up there. So I'm just gonna bring you over here so that you're out the way. Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. About there ought to do it, I think. Right, let's jump out of you. All finished, and we want to go and get the wheel loader. Right, we will take the wheel loader down here, and we will get one spoonful of dirt from down here, like that. See, you've just got to drive sensibly and carefully, and you can achieve just about anything you want to, so long as you're sensible and careful. At all times, you must be sensible and careful. This is what I've been told. I'm, I'm always being told I need to be more sensible and more careful, or at least, you know, more sensible. There's a lot of people want me to be sensible. Um, I did investigate this whole being sensible thing once, and I gotta be honest with you, it's, it's kind of like being an adult, it seems rather dull, so um, I decided to give it a miss just for a little while. Same with being an adult, um, unfortunately, you know, everybody keeps telling you that you need to grow up, you need to be sensible. Um, 
I, I'm starting to think that even the people that tell you these things, they don't actually believe it themselves because it's very boring being an adult. It is. You know, all, all, all of the, the grown-up things that you're supposed to do, it's very, very dull. Now, why can't I tip? I've got some dirt in here. Let, let me tip. Um... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't actually want me to tip out the dirt into here, which is not helpful. I've got, I've got some dirt in here still. Oh, there we go. If I can, can I <laughs> climb up on top, I might actually be able to tip out the rest of the dirt. I can sort of do it like this. There we go, all of it. Okay. See, sensible and careful. This is, it's the only way forward. Now, let me just, I'm going to stop that one and we're going to jump out because we want to see if there's any dirt actually coming through. So we can jump over here and have a look. There we go. We got one percent in our mats up there. We got well, we got one percent just about everything. I didn't really see a lot of action going on though. We we we're going to need to set up our conveyor belts and stuff like that, which we're going to be doing next week. We're not going to do that this week now. We've we've run out of time. We t we took too long to do the trouble. Um, if you'd wanted if you'd wanted to do those conveyor belts, you should have been a bit faster putting the uh, Glacier Creek thing in. Um, that's that's all I can say. So, um, you sh you should have been more sensible. Uh. Okay, I do like the way that this one sort of laid out, although I'm not quite sure why does it have to have the, the double layer of, um, like, sluice coming down? Is it, what would be the advantage of that? I don't really understand how any of this works. I understand how the top bit works, but the rest of it doesn't really make any sense. Why can't it just sort of slop down into a bucket and just keep going? Um, why does it need... I suppose it's extra distance for it to be tumbled and washed, which would possibly expose more gold and then it's being washed and tumbled down into there as well before it heads off into the one down the bottom. That's my theory. I don't know if my theory's got anything to it, but that is my theory. So let me just stop that one. And we're going to stop this one up here. If you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.